there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Wheelman81 here and this is round four of the NMA Off-Road Series. This is the White Knuckle GP. This is on the Sunday following the previous race, the Frostbite GP, and I am super tired in this race. If you watched my previous race, you saw that I had a strategy of trying to just pick up the pace from the beginning and pass people right from the get-go. And I'm trying that here, but honestly, I'm running on an empty tank. Yesterday's race was super grueling for me, and at the end of this race, I'm just going to end up trying to finish. That's, that's my only goal. So sit back and enjoy as I struggle through this one. some of you may know the race on Sunday is generally speaking running the Saturday course in the opposite direction but they did add some new terrain unfortunately as you can see from the mini map in the top right my camera battery died about three quarters of the way through the lap maybe about halfway and all the good new terrain was in that part where my camera was dead so unfortunately we're not going to get to see that sorry about that everyone The name of this race, as you're starting to see here, is Big Whoops and Deep Sand. And that's what tired me out so much the previous race was riding these big whoops. And as I mentioned in the previous video, the slower you go, the more it beats you down. Now a good rider, a fast rider, is going to be bouncing right over the top of these. But if you go slow and you hit these every single time with all the force that the whoop can give you, it just makes you more tired and more tired. And by the end of the third lap in this race, I literally couldn't stand. My knees were so tired. My shoulders were so tired. They were in agony from this race. Um, I was just sitting on the bike, like riding a trail bike. And honestly, I was kind of thinking, man, I wish I had that soft trail suspension in my previous bike because right now I am dying. But I made it through, I finished, I didn't quit. And that's what's important. Now here at the beginning of the race you can see I'm pushing hard, I'm passing some people. Yes, yeah, some people are passing me, but I'm trying to do what I can, can to run a fast race. And a lot of that, unfortunately, is like probably adrenaline and me thinking that I'm younger and more fit than I am right now, you know, living in the past kind of thing. But uh, throughout this lap and throughout the race, it was just a slow decline of from riding a speed that you'd say is a race speed to trying to stay out of everyone's way and not be a moving roadblock. And even then, I was struggling to do that. If I had been on fresh legs and, and a fresh rider, all those people up in front of me, man, that would have been a glorious sight. And I'm probably trying to chase them here, thinking in my head, oh man, I could just pass a guy and I could get, you know, pass the next guy. 
but what I'm really doing is is burning my tank super dry. I'm already tired. If I'd been smart looking back, I'd taken more of like a marathoner's pace than a sprinter's pace and just tried to, to pace it out because I think burning myself down early in this race, knowing that I was tired, was probably a mistake. And if I had just taken it a little slower, then I'd probably finished higher overall because I wouldn't have been so dead tired in the later laps. Thinking about how grueling it was for me on this race and you know doing a double header on a weekend I got to give a huge props to the double A level riders who are doing not only back-to-back -back races just like this but they're riding an extra two or three laps at a much faster pace I honestly have no idea how they're able to do it they, those guys must be like not only incredible riders but also super fit that's that's amazing got around that rider that was down in the sand in the turn and I have this big pack of people in front of me and I'm thinking like I was yesterday where if I push in the straights then I can get some passes. I'm kind of comfortable on the smaller whoops and I think that's an advantage over some other riders. So I get a pass here, I'm looking at the rider in the red and blue up here, maybe I can get past him, but I'm trying to push in the straights and get the passes when I can. Tired as I am, I gotta say that's some pretty good speed on that straight in my opinion. I think I did pretty well there.
may remember the giant hill from yesterday where people were falling down trying to get up it. Here we are going to go down it, and you can see that it doesn't look anything crazy on film. It is wild how much a camera takes the hills out of stuff. Coming up here on the right, you can see a rider who's kind of off the track and he's in a much smoother line. He's not doing the whoops and he's technically off the track because we're supposed to be inside of those orange poles. And I'm gonna rant about that a little bit here, but it was happening a lot where people were going off the track to avoid the whoops. It was kind of annoying. That seems a little unfair. That definitely wasn't in the now I'm gonna rant about it but then I go up here on the left and I thought this was the line there's so many it's so clear but I'm technically off the track there so maybe that's what the other rider was doing he thought he was on the track but he just wasn't because so many people have used the other line and it's kind of frustrating because I'm over here getting beat up on the line and that other line is so much smoother it'd be like if there was a paved road next to the dirt track and everyone was using it but technically you're not supposed to and i'm just kind of frustrated because i know how tired i was and how punishing this course was for me and every time you see someone who's not you know going through the same trial as you are you kind of get frustrated by that Okay, enough whining and complaining. I'm rolling into checkpoint one here and I still have a little bit of fight in me. So let's get on with the race. Oh. So that's definitely showing improvement over some of my previous races recently where I would stay in the gear that I was in even though it was clearly the wrong gear and there I was shifting up the gears trying to get in the right gear for the situation and I wasn't doing that before but now I am so there you go and it got me the pass so perfect.
right, so here I am again, fighting for passes using my patented strategy of go faster on the straights and maybe a little too fast, it looks like. No big deal though, quick recovery, get back on the track and hit it hard. rider in front of me coming up is about to roost me with some pretty big rocks and it caught me in the shins it pretty it hurt pretty bad oh god damn that hurt things consider I feel like I've been riding a really good race so far in this video and I think if my energy just hadn't ran out and that my shoulder and, and knees just didn't give out on me I probably would have done as well as I did the previous day where I got sixth place um, you know like I said I, I barely finished this race because I was hurting so bad and I was so tired but man if I had just had the stamina I think I was setting a pretty good pace in this one Like always, if there's a rider in front of me, I'm compelled to chase him down. And there's one, so I'm trying to pick up the speed.
covered sand. I know it looks like, oh, why don't you just hop in the other track and then blow past them? I mean, they're right there. But it's really hard to get out of these tracks. You can see right here I'm struggling just to move to the one on the left. It's tough to get out of these ruts with the sand. That rider gets by me right there because I kind of went off the track to the right and got bogged down in the sand. Now at this point it's tough to remember what I was thinking, but based on my speeds I'm probably still thinking I can pass the two riders from earlier and that guy. So I'm picking up the speed it looks like and I'm trying to get back around these three. Up on camera. Damn, that was a fucking hard. 
front for and I'm sure the double A guys are just hopping across the tops of them. Yeah, so past me's summary is pretty much spot on. You know, at this point in the race, coming into the checkpoint here, uh, my knees were killing me and my shoulders were killing me. And I had pretty much given up on passing those three people that were in front of me. And I'm kind of just in finish the race mode. Unfortunately, that was the mental space I was in and I was really running out of steam to push any harder. Uh, I ended up finishing eighth out of 11. Um, I finished on the lead lap still surprisingly. I got three laps in, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm not happy with my performance, honestly. I wish I had more stamina to keep pushing like I did in the previous day, but that's just not the reality of where I'm at physically right now. Uh, but anywho, thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in the next race.